In this video, we're going to set up our navigation and then publish our app to the web. So in order to set up our navigation, we want to go to whatever page we want our navigation to show up on. And we can click this bottom item right here and show this page on the nav bar. Now, this is giving us an indication that we need to have two pages in order to show the nav bar, which makes sense because if there's only one page, then you have nowhere to navigate. So let's go to our completed page here and turn it on this page. Let's change our icons right here. So we're in our completed page. So let's search for a list. And we've got this checked list right here, which would be good. I want to bump the icon size up a little bit to 30. And let's go to our tasks page, do the same thing with our icon size, and then search for another list item. But here, the one with just those dots. Now, if you want more options over the styling of your nav bar, you can click here, which will just bring you to this section here in your settings where you have your nav bar style with three to choose from. You can reorder these right here and click through to see how that looks. You also have styling options down here, but we're going to keep all of the defaults and let's just test this to see what it looks like. All right, so we're on our task page and we can go over to our completed page. Beautiful. Let's complete a task and we can see it there. Awesome. Next, let's publish this app so we can share it with friends and family. Now, if you want a temporary link to send out to people, you can come up here and start a run mode with this button. This is similar to test mode, except this will be a public shareable link and it won't expire in 30 minutes. This is helpful for when you're working on projects and you want to share the work in progress with other people. But to publish it to web, you first want to come down to platforms right here and select the web because after you do that, then you'll get this button right here, which is deploy deploy it to the web. But before we do that, let's go over here to web publishing. And here you can set the site URL. By default, this will be subdomained as a flutterflow.app URL. But of course, you can use a custom domain that you can link up right here. There's tons of other options for web publishing here. All right, so let's publish this. Beautiful. And it's deployed. So let's click here to see it. And there it is, except for it's huge. So let me show you a quick way to constrain the width. So let's come back over to our canvas here. And if we want to constrain the width, we have a perfect widget for that. And that's our container. So we can just go to the top here, command B and wrap this in a container. And let's switch it over to desktop so we can see what we're doing and then come down and set the maximum width to 400 pixels. Now that looks good, but we don't want it way over here to the left. So what we can do is we can align this to the center. Beautiful. So now if we publish again, and this time we can do it up here with this button, it should be a more palatable width and check it out again. It fits beautifully. So you can add that container to every page so that it looks good and you can share this project. We'd love for you to share this with us on Twitter because we'd love to come in and add a task in your to do app that you built in just two hours. So tag us on Twitter, leave a comment below if you're struggling with anything, and we'll see you in the next series.